Hello everyone. This is Sir Manoj. Welcome to computer class. Today we will discuss another program that is called Disarium number. So let's begin the class. Sum of the digits of a number powered by its own position in the number generate a number. If this generated number equal to the original number then it is known as Disarium number. For example 135 is a disarium number. How? Now see 1 to the power 1, 3 to the power 2 and 5 to the power 3. These powers are arranged by their position. So you will get 135. Understand? Like 89, 175, 518 these all are disarium numbers. Let's do the program in blue z. Uh, this is disarium number. Already I said what is disarium number? So let's begin the program. Uh, the main method, variables I have taken, num, product, sum equals to 0, capital N, count equals to 0 and reminder. Uh, scan a class, enter the number, so that will store in num and uh, n equals to capital num, uh, sorry, capital N equals to num. While loop begin, this while loop I have taken to store the number of digits present in the given number. Suppose the number is 123, count it will store 3. Suppose it is uh, 10 it will store 2 ok so this while loop is for counting part to display how many digits are there in the given number then after the while loop that uh, num will store an n and another while loop here the main logic so reminder will come then product equal to I have done the type casting because mat.pow will display in double so that convert to integer uh, rem uh, comma count for example, if we we'll take 125, so 125 more 10 in remainder 5 will store. 5 is present which position? Third, 125, so 5 is stored in third position. So product equals to mat.pow, rem means 5, comma 3. Count, okay? So the count is decreasing here. And the sum is going on. Like that the loop will continue, when the, con then when the loop will fall, it will come out. And check the condition. If sum equals equals to num, it will display a disarium number, else not a disarium number. Understand? Now this is the logic. Now let's compile the program. Compile. Close. Uh, void main. Okay. Enter a number to check whether it is a rim number or not. Say the number is suppose 145. It is not a disarium number. So let's take another example. Say 135. 135. This is a rim number. So what is this a number? I had clearly said. Uh, now see the complete program uh, starting from the class while loop a part else part Okay? Oh, my God. 
Thank you. 